I'm here with Michaela Mansfield of the UCCS women's soccer team. Michaela, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Now, Michaela, a busy weekend for you guys on the road. First off, playing Colorado Christian, winning that one, and then going to Colorado School of Mines and losing that one. You know, what were some of the factors of those games? Um, I think it was a team mentality. Um, obviously, uh, Colorado Christian was not as high as Mines was, and, and Mines is obviously um, a step above us in the conference. And so I think our mentality going to both the games um, was just the difference between confidence and ourselves and our team. Um, and the way that we started the game kind of dictated how we played. So going into Mines with um, not as much confident, confidence as we did in uh, Colorado Christian kind of really affected the way that we played against them too. So. And you had a goal against Colorado Christian and then another one against Colorado School of Mines. You know, how, what is your mindset going into these games? Um, mindset's just to make an impact in the game and to make sure that no matter when I'm playing or where I'm at on the field that I'm always, you know, pushing to make a difference and, and to make an impact for my team and, and obviously to kind of uh, get goals to help push us forward um, and up in the conference. So. And then this weekend, a big home weekend. You have another two RMAC teams. Doesn't count for conference, but still playing Fort Lewis and Adams State. You know, how, what is the mindset and what are you guys thinking going into that game? Um, well, uh, yesterday for practice, we kind of met as a team and kind of reevaluated our goals again and, and what we want to accomplish and how we're going to accomplish that the rest of the season. Um, and so coming into the mindset, you know, we know that. Um, we can play, you know, as good as any other team in the RMAC, if not better. We just have to come in with the right mindset. So I think we're really focusing on um, keeping that confidence high when we do go in to play um, Fort Lewis, um, and as well as, you know, keeping that confidence um, no matter what happens to Fort Lewis, all the way up to Adams, and making sure that we uh, show up to play that game. And it's the last two home games of the season. Five, sorry, five seniors on this team. Um, you know, how does it feel? What have they taught you and really, is it a goodbye? Um, well, I mean, I've uh, played all with all of them for four years. I mean, I redshirted, so I have one year left. But I mean, I've played with um, Brooke and Kenzie since uh, we were freshmen. And then I've played with uh, Ari and Taylor and Avery since I was a sophomore. So um, it really is just a team chemistry and we've kind of just become more of a family and I'm definitely going to miss that aspect of them and, and being able to know how they play on the field since we have been playing for so many years um, and that's kind of one one of the things that can make a great team is is knowing how each other plays and and trusting them to, that they know how to play as well so and also goalkeeper Brandy Arnsalt and Brandy yeah yeah she yeah she played her freshman year and then came back this year so this is the first time I've played with her but and, you know, a little bit talking about your defense, you know, how big of a factor have they been this year? Um, it's been huge. I mean, it all starts in the back. Um, you can't win a game if um, you don't have a defense. And um, our defense has been really strong. I mean, we do have a little bit of communication errors every once in a while, which um, teams have capitalized on. But overall, I mean, our defense has been um, very, very strong compared to past years. So, And also comparing to past years, this year, you guys have a lot of depth, you know, a lot of freshmen that have played an impact on the season. You know, how nice it is, how nice is it to, you know, go out, get some rest, and know that the momentum and the energy really isn't leaving the field? Um, it's definitely uh, comforting to know um, that it's not all based on the starters, and, and the subs know that, and, and we know that we can trust them to keep the intensity high or you know, to bring something new to the game that we haven't already uh, brought when we started the game. So it's definitely um, a huge trust factor in, in knowing that they're going to play as hard as they can when they come on the field. And then November 4th, we, you guys will have a home RMAC playoff game, you know, how is the team looking forward to that? And, you know, is there going to be an extra step with this team? Well, uh, we haven't passed first round of playoffs in program history, so that really is um, a goal that we're wanting to attain, um, just making it past first rounds and, and making it all the way to uh, the tournament finals. Um, 
but at the same time, you know, we can't let it get to us and can't let the nerves kind of reach us as a team. So our mentality is uh, also what we talked about is just making sure that we're playing the way that we know how to play and not letting those nerves kind of get to us and, and weaken us. So. And, you know, at home, you know, do you think having home field advantage at, you know, Mountain Lions Stadium will play a factor for that game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, playing at home with your own fans and, and the field that you've been playing on all season is, is a huge advantage, um, especially when teams do have to travel if they have to travel a long ways. So I think it's it's definitely um, a lot better to host a home game, um, and the confidence also kind of increases with that as well. Well, thank you, Michaela. Thank you. Michaela Mansfield of the UCCS women's soccer team, good luck this weekend. Thank you so much. <laughs>